Yo, what's up guys, it's Tet, and I am really, really excited to be making this video right now because a lot of cool information just, just hit the internet. Uh, Behavior is doing a Q&A currently, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about some things that have been announced uh, and, and discussed. First things first, uh, let's let's go back a few years at this point and talk about the twins. The twins was announced, I think it was early 2022, I think, uh, that they were being reworked. We have an update. The twins are taking a lot of time. There are a lot of things going on with the twins uh, in terms of the design and, and the gameplay. Um, they are finished the design at this point. It is done. They have actually finished the twins rework, but implementing it into the game is going to take some time and apparently it won't happen until early 2024. So it will be a good nine months at least until we get the twins rework on the, uh, on the topic of killer updates though. I have two things to talk about. The, f the nightmare, Freddy Krueger, is getting an update. Maybe not um, such large scale like other killer updates, but he is slated to receive changes. They didn't give us really any details. Um, we can probably assume that there will be some base kit changes along with an add-on pass as per usual, uh, but to what those changes are and how extensive they will end up being, that is completely up in the air and it can be questioned. So that's nice. They also plan on updating the hillbilly. Hillbilly will be receiving uh, some fairly substantial base kit changes as well as an add-on pass. Uh, which is fantastic. Hillbilly is in desperate need of some changes, and it's cool to see behavior uh, focusing on those kinds of killers. Taking a step away from killer balance for a moment here, uh, new game modes. Behavior are actually currently developing and designing new game modes to play in Dead by Daylight. They are currently only planned to be limited time event game modes, uh, so probably for like the winter event and, and things like that. Uh, but down the line, they do want to have completely separate queues for like new game modes and stuff, as well as a whole host of options and custom games. So more love and care will be put into custom games, hopefully allowing you to change more parameters and fine tune the experience. Speaking of fine tuning your experience, that was actually a pretty nice segue. It has happened after our complaints for years and years behavior has agreed and they have done it they have finally done it there is now going to be an fov slider coming into debt by daylight oh my god dude i am so pumped uh yeah an fov slider is, is gonna hit the game as a result shadowborn and monitor abuse will be getting some changes we don't know what those changes are at this moment but you can honestly expect uh the fov update to come either at the end of this year or the beginning of next year in 2024. So it is very, very soon, uh, three to six months away. That makes me very happy uh, that it can be coming that soon. So fantastic. And uh, I think there's really only one thing left for me to quickly comment on, and that is the doll merchant. Uh, behavior have acknowledged the gameplay of the doll merchant is well frankly dull and they are planning a slight rework to the killer's power to um push you away from a three gen kind of play style uh we don't exactly know what these changes will be but they understand the frustration playing against the dull merchant and they also understand that if you play as a dull merchant and you're you're doing the strategy that you're probably also not having a whole lot of fun and so they want to encourage more interaction between the two sides and uh improve her power in, in significant ways so hey maybe that will get me to actually play the killer for once uh i still have not played the killer other than on the the ptb because why would i she's just fucking awful to play against so 
yeah um i'm really really excited this year of dead by daylight and the beginning of next is looking fantastic and of course there's been some smaller uh things discussed like cosmetics and such but uh if you're really curious uh i will link the uh the the, the post really the thread where you can go ahead and read all the questions and behaviors answers to them At the time of me making this video i i don't know if there's been something more substantial discussed but yeah uh overall i'm, I'm really excited and I am just, I, I really hope that they actually stick to their guns this time and we're not being promised things that are just not going to happen. So, yeah, I'm really excited uh, about specifically the uh, the Freddy update and also the FOV slider. I think those are two really, really big wins for me. The rest is pretty good, of course, but I think those take, take the cake for me. Anyway, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Just a pretty short video just talking about this stuff. See so, ya. Yeah.